Hey everybody, I just want to um, show you how to use Canva really quick as a little tutorial. So I'm hoping this works, I have no idea, so we're gonna test this out. So I always go into canva.com and I choose, depending on what I'm trying to do, whether a new Facebook cover or a Facebook post, normally nine times out of 10 when I'm making a flyer or something, you can see them all in here. Um, I choose Facebook post. Uh, let it open up. Apparently it's taking a little while. And then I either, you can either use some of these templates that they give you over here. I always like to start with a blank canvas, so I choose a background that I like, and I'll try this clear one. All these are free. The ones down here cost a dollar, and to be honest, I don't even know how to pay for it, so that's why I've never done the paid ones. But I'm going to use this background, I think, for right now. Um, and I need to put a picture on there. Let's say we're doing the um, February 10-day challenge. So I'm going to either upload a picture. I have all these already uploaded into my Canva file. But um, let's, I'll show you how to upload. So go to Uploads, then upload your own image. Find one that you like. So um, hopefully I have one in here for Shakeology. And I don't. So what I'm going to do is cancel that. Just open up a new browser. Go to Google. I'm just going to type in Shakeology. Go to images. See what I can find. Oh, I like this picture. I'm going to save it to my desktop just so it's easy for me to find. So then I go back to Canva. I go back to upload your own images. It's on my desktop, I know that. It's supposed to be on my desktop. Did I not save it to my desktop? Maybe I saved it in images without even knowing. Sometimes I do that. No. Nope. Maybe it doesn't wanna show up. All right, we're gonna try again. Sorry, bear with me. Should be on my desktop, I don't know why it's not showing. Hmm, I see it now. So upload my images, there it is, Shakeology header, choose. So there it is, it's uploaded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag it in here, um, right onto the right onto the platform and I'm gonna expand it and well it doesn't fit without making it too blurry so I'm just gonna move it down it comes back together if I want it smaller I can even make it smaller you have your whole background it's up to you how you want to design your images um, I did one that that was the bottom and I, I liked it this I'm just gonna you know make it small in the corner you know it's February the month of love I'm gonna add the hearts in but I'm just gonna make them small in the background. And I'm also gonna change the filter. You have options when you have three pictures. So you'd click the down arrow here, transparency. I'm gonna like kind of fade them into the background a little bit. And if you don't love this background that you have, it's easy. You don't you're not stuck with it. Go back to backgrounds and there you go. Make it darker if you want. I don't know, whatever color you want. Then simple, good, you have that. You go to your text, you could either, I've done this a couple times, I've added some of theirs, and I've just changed the words here, which I could do. Um, 10 day challenge. Right here I could put February, and then down here, Hold on. You can change the size. You can move it around by, you know, clicking on it. Um, Shakeology 10 day challenge. February. Mm -mm, you gotta stay over there, buddy. One second, okay? February, let's say it's gonna be 
February 1st. I don't even know the date, second, because that's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, Super Bowl Sunday. Let's just say February 2nd is going to start it. It sizes it down for you. You can, you know, make your own right up here. Adjust the size, although it's not adjusting it. You can expand it to adjust the size a little. Move your shapes around. Bring in other images that you already have uploaded. That's really nice because they don't get rid of it. So, you know, you want to put the Fit and Fierce logo in there? Go ahead. Put the fierce, Fit and Fierce logo in the corner so people don't steal your stuff. Um, there's my pictures. You know, simple like that. You want to write on top of an image? That's fine. Pick a different size text and just put, I've been putting the pound, everyone matters. On um, a lot of my stuff. And change the size. Change the font all right here. And it gives you what the font looks like, which I think is awesome. And it does it right in there for you. And you can turn it. You can shape it, whatever you need. And then you can change the color too, right here in the color wheel. I don't know what color you'd want it. Probably black, I guess. Move it, change the size. That's a little too big. Again, I'm just trying to show you guys different things to do in here. Um, here, I wanna change the words to red, because I don't know, it's February and I'm feeling red. All the little pieces, you just change the colors that go along with it. Just make sure that you get everything. That doesn't look very good, red. Maybe just the font changing it will help. Make it a little bigger. Grow it, so when with the Pictures that you use, the font styles that you use from Canva, like um, these over here, those only get bigger and smaller if you um, expand it or shrink it down. You can move them all over your screen if you want. Um, you can do that. Then you can, um, if you didn't want to use that, all you do is like I, like I did down here with Everyone Matters, you go over to add text. You can even add more text if you want. Um, you know, message me for details. Same thing. Oh, you can center it so it's all centered above and below each other. Um, or make it aligned because apparently that's what I did. <clears throat> See? And then just shift it. If you want to put it in the heart, put it in the heart, wherever you want. So that's the simple, easy way to do it. And when you're done, say you're happy with that, you go, you let it save, it's saving into your Canva program. Hey, mommy, maybe have a snack. No, you just had lunch, wait one minute, okay? Um. It's still saving. Sometimes it takes a little while. Just be patient. Oh, it's saved. You see the check mark? So you go to download. Save as an image. Uh, for me, my Mac, it's going to pop right up. I'm not sure if you're using a different program or not, what it does. Oh, what? Mine was Mine's comes right up, so I go to file. Oh, check it out first. See how this is too big? When the February is like going right into that, I'm gonna close this. I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna go right back into it, and I'm gonna fix it because that was not good. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna say, you know, we're gonna shrink that February down, and that will help. Like you can shrink some of the stuff inside. That's a little too small, all right? Let it save again. I'm sorry, it has to save every time you do something, which is also a good thing. Obviously, you can get more creative as you go and do things. But if you like this kind of flyer that you have, it's always gonna save it into your, your Canva documents, and you can just go in and adjust it every month, you know? 
don't have to start from a new platform if you don't want to. Still saving. Saved, hit download as an image. See how, ah, that's better. See the February is not combined. Um, okay, so obviously don't use this one because the image has somebody else's stuff on it, but I'm just doing it as a test anyway. So I hit, I go to export, I export it. It comes up as a ping for me. I change it to a JPEG because it's just a smaller format and save it to my desktop. And there you have it. It's done. Your project's done. You can close out of it. Close, close, say you're all done, you're happy with it. Um, I need to move that. Now, here's my project, it's untitled, but that was my last one. Your last one is always there. Oops, I don't want some people seeing some of the stuff that's in here. Um, but all my projects I've done in here, my headers, my, um, cover photos for challenge groups, I do right in here, again, I just drag everything right on. I, I put words onto each of these fruit pieces for the Healthy Holiday Challenge. I love this program for the cover photos. It works really well. So um, that's Canva. It's pretty simple. You have different options. Instagram, it's nice to do Instagram because the if you specifically want it for Instagram because when you choose Facebook post, it is too big for your Instagram. It's going to be too wide. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want to do a, an Instagram, you know, flyer, choose that. Make it the same thing. Um, make the same thing. Just make it into the Instagram design. All right. If you have any questions, let me know.